hey guys i am back with another video and in this video we are going to create this full stack application mobile app for android and ios using dotnet maui blazor hybrid okay and we are going to use asp.net core web api in this project with ef core with sql server okay so this is the app we are going to build fresh wedge cart this is an application uh, for fruits and vegetables so we have all these items with proper image name of the item price unit and a add to cart button all right then we have this bottom tab bar so here we can see this tab bar badge we can simply increase the quantity so here you will see 11 now if i say this becomes 12 if i decrease if there is no item then we will see add to cart button if we have some item it will say this quantity and this plus and minus buttons and if you see here these count in this tab bar badge these are in real time if we increase or decrease it gets updated in here okay so this is the main home page here now then we have this cart page where we can see all the items which we have in our cart all these items we have in cart with image name information the total amount and here also we have this plus and minus buttons so when we increase or decrease this we can see the quantity here the total amount for this one actual total amount total items and all these things are updating everywhere so here in here and in this tab bar badge also so you see we can see this then we have this delete button or maybe this one if we see for eggplant we have only one quantity if i press this minus then that item is gone from here because zero item quantity we are not going to have this here and we can remove this entire item using this delete icon as well if we do this that item is no longer here and we have this nice toast message this item removed then we can clear our entire cart at once we have this clear toolbar item button here we can click on it and it will simply say ask for confirmation if we say no nothing will happen okay and if we say yes it is going to be cleared so cart cleared we can see that notification that toast message and then this is the empty cart screen okay with this simple here also we have view products and we have proper activity indicator you just show this is device specific okay now the items are not selected here there is no item selected after that we can go to our orders now because i was logged in for a long time so it we have proper error handling as well so our jwt token it is expired so for my orders and profile for these two pages user needs to be logged in so we were already logged in then we simply checked the token is expired so it is asking us we need to log in again when we say okay now this is our login screen so here we have login if we are new user we can go to register so we can register as well with name email mobile password we can go back to login right now i'll just log in with the existing account then i'm going to show you a new account login with this here also we have this activity indicator now after logging in we came back to the same page from where we went to the login page so this state also we are managing in this application so these are all the orders which are for this user here we can see all the order information we have view info as well so when we tap on this view info we are here in order detail page where we have these two small tabs first we are going to have our order information and then we have order items so these for the items be it one this was the price this was the unit this was the total price for this and all these things you see two broccoli and all these things order info and go back now we are on my orders so here we are going to have our orders then we have this profile page so here we have this this is the name of the user you now this is here this new user then we have these couple of options here we have edit profile if i click on this edit profile we see we have this nice animated bottom sheet this also we have implemented okay so here we have update profile we can modify the user name and mobile number okay let's change this to let's say demo user save changes we can see activity indicator post message profile updated successfully and here we can see the name is updated 
then we have change password for change password also we have the similar bottom sheet with current password new password re-enter new password we can change this password then on logout we have same confirm logout if we say yes it will simply log out us and when go back to the home page if we say no nothing will happen then we have this manage addresses if we tap on this we are on this new page here if you see we don't have that bottom tab bar because this is an internal stack page with this back button so we have these two addresses already created we have this plus button from where we can create a new address or here also we have this option from where we can create a new address and here <coughs> we have this name address and this is default address we can have only one default address at a time okay so let's say i'm just creating it name of the address let's say demo and the full address something like full demo address and then is default address we can set it to default now see we have this my office as default address i'm going to save this now you see demo is the default address because we just added that as default address right so at a time only one address can be default if we had already some address default uh, that is going to be removed from there and new address will be default for example let's say this home address we can tap on it we can edit this so here we'll say just add make this as default save changes now you see we have this post message and then home now this is a default address then we can delete address as well it will ask us for confirmation if we say yes that is going to be deleted with this nice toast message all right then we have this help screen which is kind of a static screen we don't have anything dynamic here so this is static screen you can have it now let me show you on home page right now we don't have anything we just have all these items now if i try to add some order so i'm on this checkout let's try to continue so here we can see total amount is this total item six in the cart let's continue so here it is saying select address to place an order we need to select some address here we have this small manage addresses button we can tap on it and it will lead us to the manage addresses page come back continue here we can select our address so by default the default address is going to be selected if we are okay with this we can directly say place order if we want to select some other address for this particular order we can select that okay and if we don't select any address then if we place order then we will have this alert address selection is required and if you notice this alert is not a blazor or bootstrap or javascript html alert this is device native alert so this is from mouse side of thing okay let's select some address and we'll say place order and now cart is cleared order is placed now if you go to orders here we should see this is the order which we just placed view info here we can see the information four items this price this time this was the selected address and order items if we see we have all these items okay then looks like we are good let's now try to log out i'm going to log out do you want to log out yes log out after logout we are on the home page now if you see on this home top screen we have this login button which was not earlier because we were logged in if we are not logged in on home page we can see this login now let's try to add items to the cart and by the way for storing these cart items we are using sqlite database as well if i close the application and let's say open it again i open the app again you see we all still have these items selected because we are using sqlite for this thing all right now let's go to cart here if i try to continue it will lead us to the login page okay we can log in or we can register let's try to register new user let's say abhay prince some random email let's say abhay at gmail.com random email Contact number is optional. Eight nine zero. We can have anything. Password. Let's have this. Register. We are registering. User registered successfully, and now we are on login page. Now let's try to log in with this new account. What was that? Abhay at gmail dot com. 
one two three four five six let's log in we are logged in now again we came back to the same cart page right so i continue no address found because we have just created this user account so we don't have any address for this user so we have this you did not add any address do you want to add an address if we say yes it is going to lead us to the manage addresses page if we say no nothing is going to happen and we will just have this from here also we can now in select address we are not going to have anything and from here also we can go to manage address now we can add a new address here and then we can simply place that order now let me show you one more thing if you go to profile log out yes log out now i am logged out and now if i go to orders page it is saying login required you need to be logged in to view your orders do you want to go to login page yes or no we say no we will be here but we can't see anything same thing if you go to profile page for profile page also login is required because these two things the orders and profile these are tied with the user so we need to be logged in to view these two pages we have this proper validation as well okay try to log in again by the way we have validation here as well if the user password was incorrect we will have this incorrect password alert let's set the correct password login and we came back to the profile page here we can see our orders we can see this and if the token is expired so for that validation also you see earlier the there was that uh, alert message which said lo login has expired all right so this is the app we are going to build from scratch till end do let me know the comment of how is this app looking and are you excited for this series okay and this we are going to use this mobile maui application we have api we have shared project we are going to reuse the things and in mobile application we are going to have our uh, database as well using sqlite and for api connectivity we are going to use our refit client Okay, and we are going to have this centralized common exception handling for our all api calls and all for card service we are using sqlite database that i already mentioned and we are using jwt token for our authentication authorization system all right so that's all for this demo let's start building it